Um, I have not captured anybody. Nobody's been caught and <clears throat> it's been really cold. So I, I'm not outside a lot after it gets dark. Um, I, t I typically will just go out on the back porch to make sure everything's locked up. And sometimes I do end up having to do that after it's already dark. So I'm going to upload a video right after this. Um, it's from, I think it was Sunday night or what's today? Wednesday? I think it was Sunday or Monday night when I went out to lock up. It's like, sounds like like weird Christmas bells, almost like, you know, how like if you have Christmas decorations, like a bell on the door handle, I'll upload it so you can hear it. And there's nobody living next door right now and there was no one outside. So I have no idea where it was coming from. It sounded like it was coming from the woods. So you guys can let me know. Somebody's got to be messing with me. And there was something else I wanted to tell you guys, hopefully to avoid a bunch of questions in the comments. Oh, and I'll be putting um, my spotlights out. I uh, charged both of them fully, so I'll let them uh, run as long as they'll run, you know, before they die. And um, I think that's it. When I was out there getting things ready, I was hearing noises in the woods. It could have been an animal. And um, I did hear... Um, what sounded like a woman and a man talking earlier, but it was like, I think it was around like six o'clock. It was dark and I didn't see anybody. It sounded like it was coming from behind the um, house next door. So we'll see what happens, but um, I'll see you guys soon. So the music that you can hear in the background is was the baby monitor that was in my pocket. Jonah was taking a nap. So, um, and he didn't have a TV on in that room. So I'm gonna just show you where we were standing. The TV was playing blippy like it is now and I'm gonna see if I can hear it from out here. So we were out by the garage, which is a pretty good distance. And we had this door shut. And also this door, which, no, this door was actually open because I had Johnny standing right in this doorway because I didn't want, I'm just gonna see if you can hear the TV. I don't hear anything, but, um, and I'll grab the baby monitor and I'll even turn it on. Um, because his his uh, sound machine is always playing. Sorry, I'm limping around because of my ankle. I have no idea. Why, baby? Similar, I'm sorry. I'm, I'll speed up the video because I'm walking around like the slowest person in the world. I don't want to shut that door because if Johnny hears it, he'll be like, Mom's leaving. Go, go find her. All right, so this door was open. I just had the baby monitor. I'm going to turn the phone so you guys can see I'm standing in the same spot. All right, so I'm in the same exact spot. I don't hear anything. I could definitely can't hear the TV from here, but you guys can see for yourself. So I'm just going to say this one time. Um, it takes, you know, between 15 seconds to a maximum of 10 minutes to post a video um, while being live takes, you know, it's live all night long usually. So um, typically I'm on the live from my backup account or people are calling and texting me throughout the entire night anytime they hear a whistle or hear a noise telling me to call the cops like I don't need to sleep you know I am a human being and I do have two small kids who do not sleep during the day so I have to sleep when they sleep that is why I'm not able to go live as often however me posting catchy videos doesn't have anything to do with me going live I don't think but I mean you can block me or delete me if you want
but I just, I kind of want to bring attention when people are trolling and being just not good individuals because I feel like they shouldn't just slide under the radar because if I don't point it out, then I'm the only one that gets to see how much of it they are. So um, you realize that when I'm live, I typically keep the live going all night long, nighttime. I have two very young kids and um, I'm typ typically sleeping. Um, but when I am awake, I'm responding or watching from my backup account. But do you honestly think that I'm outside pretending to make fake noises while my two kids are inside either by themselves or one of them would have to be alone if I were outside all night long because my husband sleeps downstairs with my oldest and I have to stay upstairs with the baby um, because their sleep schedules are just different. Um, <laughs> so you think I would honestly just leave my kids unattended so that I could entertain random strangers on the internet for literally nothing? Even if I was making $500 a night going live, which is like insane, that would never, I mean, some people do, I'm sure, but even if that were the case, I would never leave my children unsupervised for any amount of money ever. So um, the, the third point I'm going to make, you said my hubs made me shut it down because he knew I was outside <laughs> doing whatever. Um, no one tells me what to do. And if he were to say, you can no longer go live on TikTok, I would be going live every single night because I'm spiteful that way. So um, please just get a life. <laughs> my kids come first and I need sleep in order to care for them properly. When I'm live all night long, if I happen to fall asleep, I'm getting texts and phone calls anytime somebody hears something. If somebody hears a whistle, somebody calls me and says, you need to call the, the police because there's uh, somebody whistling in your backyard, even though there's not a physical person being seen. So I'm being woken up and then my anxiety is through the roof. When I watch it from my backup account, my anxiety is through the roof. And so then even if I shut my phone off to try to go to sleep, I can't go to bed because I'm super anxious. Please remember that I don't hear any of the sounds from outside when my windows are shut, ever. I and mean, my windows are always closed. I cannot hear any of that from inside. So when I go live, it, it brings attention. It brings attention to me regarding the sounds outside and it gives me a lot of anxiety for obvious reasons. Um, but also like I have an actual life this is not my job. This is not uh, something I'm trying to make into my job. Um, therefore, I'll go live when I wanna go live. And I'm, the more I have people like this coming to my page saying dumb crap, it's not going to either cause me to go live more or less because it means literally nothing. Honestly, I like when you guys comment on my stuff because then I can just block you faster. So that is all. I have two very young kids and I need you guys to realize when I set up a live, I don't just leave, I'm not able to just leave it and go and attend to my kids. I have to address comments. I watch from my backup account. I have to go and touch the screen every time the live ends. I gotta fix it. When people want me to fix it, I gotta turn the screen this way, turn the screen this way. And I have two young kids and one of them is under two years old. So it's a lot of work for me to do the lives and um, it causes a lot of hate and um, like hate to the point where they'll they'll dox me on Reddit and like try to file lawsuits over me scamming people and all this. And, and it just, I feel like it causes more harm than good. Um, however, that does not mean I'm not going to do them in the future, but I also don't want you guys to think that that is at the top of my priority list because it's not. And um, obviously if I notice something going on more frequently, then that's when I typically do lives, when I start hearing um, odd noises and stuff, which last night I did and I, I did record it, but I honestly think it was just a bear. But um, if, if, me, if you following me is uh, 
hurting you in some way, then you can um, feel free to unfollow me. I apologize. However, typically when I follow someone, it's not because I expect them to go live um, or have any expectations from them. So yeah, um, that's all. Uh, I, I'm not going to apologize for putting my kids first. So. Thank you.